Yeah, this should be good. All right, guys, I'm back with another video for you guys. I have hair content, I have workout content, and then I also have body game videos. You know what I mean? But I feel like it's time. It's a little hot out here. More so it's time. Like, I really want to tell you guys, like, how to cut, how to cut successfully. Like, uh, how to bulk and cut successfully. Like, I feel like this is a big problem with a lot of guys. And really, I'm just gonna give you tips on like what I do to cut properly and to make sure I'm reaching my goals physically of what I want. First thing you gotta figure out is what physique are you going for? Like, what percentage body fat are you looking for? What it works for you? For me personally, I like to be under 10%. Right now, I am a little bit higher than that just because it takes a lot more work, a lot more like discipline for dieting, it takes a lot more work for. You know what I'm saying? You consuming meals. How I stay above, or you know what I'm saying? How I don't drown myself out with a lot of foods, a lot of seasonings and stuff like that, is if I do eat big or if I do eat larger portions, I work out for a longer period of time or I do a lot more cardio. So if you are cutting or if you want like a more aesthetic physique and you are in the first starting process, you wanna make sure that you're eating proteins because proteins wanna get you those muscles. Eat protein, like that's what I do. Um, in the mornings, I eat like a heavier breakfast, but it's majority protein. It's not too much carbs. It's just mostly like eggs, uh, soybeans, like beans and things like that. And then I also eat uh, like a lot of Brazilian foods and any steaks, anything like that. I eat that earlier. Then out throughout the day, it's like I kind of cut and I make sure I do my cardio. Like that's the main thing. If you're eating a lot of proteins or if you're eating a lot of foods in general, you have to do cardio. Like a lot of times people like run away from that. But basically, if I'm trying to, for my body specifically, and for your guys' body out there, if you're an athlete or, you know what I'm saying, you are struggling to get to that negative 10% or, like, less than 10%, you have to do cardio. So what I eat is, like, I eat heavier, but I eat proteins majority of the time. Like, I don't have, like, a lot of these uh, different breads, just different, um, you know, calories. I don't drink soda, any of that. I do a protein shake if I feel like I'm a little low on protein or if I haven't been getting my, my daily dose, you know what I'm saying? I do a protein shake and thing like that. But most importantly, also after that, is I run. I don't know why people are scared to run, especially if you're cutting. Like, if you're cutting, you don't have a choice but to get on a treadmill and run your ass off. Like, don't be afraid of the treadmill. The treadmill is there to help you. It's there for a reason. So don't continuously lift if you're not gonna do cardio. Like, you're just gonna not like your physique and your physique is gonna be a lot more bloated. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be dealing with a lot more weight and it's gonna put more stress on your muscles and your tendons and then your knees as well. So keep that in mind. When you are doing cardio, go hard with it, but don't hurt yourself. But at the same time, Make sure you are doing it. Like, don't skip cardio. Like, cardio is like one of the main things to cut the fat off of you. So, I really want to get into like the cardio session, of basically like how cardio works, and basically like the math and the science behind cardio. Because a lot of people don't understand how to burn fat. When you say burn fat, they majority of the time mean cardio. Cardio basically means you're running, running. You're heating up your body and you're burning off that fat literally through exercise. You know, treadmills, I say, if you want to go on walks, go on walks. If you want to go on runs, go on runs. For me, I do, for me personally, I just like runs. But make sure you're consistent with it. If you are cutting, if you're on a, like a strict diet or a strict cut, you have to stick to it. Like if you're trying to get less than 10% or if you're trying to be a, like a more aesthetic, like more muscles you want your veins and everything to show you have to run like i keep telling you guys this like make sure you're doing cardio don't skip cardio the treadmill i do an incline that helps me a lot and i do that for like a long time 20 30 minutes i don't necessarily run <laughs> Shit. i don't necessarily run but i just make sure that i'm at a good pace to where it works for me and i'm continuously that pace like i'm throughout the whole session i'm continuously working like, walking at that speed or uh, jogging at that speed. But I just make sure it's like a little incline or if not, I go full max incline to help me lose those calories. But yeah, pretty much cardio is what burns. You know what I'm saying? Burns the fat off you. It literally comes off of you. That's what people mean. You could also use a sauna too. A sauna burns a lot of water weight, but you can't get away from running. So make sure you're running. If you are cutting, if you do want to see, if you want to see your abs, if you want to see your muscles, you want to see your chest, if you want to see your uh, your delts, if you want to see your like your shoulders, if you want to see everything, you just have to run. Like I think a lot of times, people 
uh, automatically assume you have fast metabolism, you don't have to run, that's not true. You know what I mean? Like, if you're trying to go for that top tier body, you have to run. Like, it just makes sense, and this is how I'm going to teach you guys, is like, run, 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 as fast as you can. You don't want to be fast, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, just make sure you run. <laughs> Make sure you run because that's what's going to burn off the fat. You know what I mean? Because even for me, like, I have a lot more running to do, but I just want to show you guys, like, I've been putting in work, and that's basically through cardio. You know what I'm saying? Cardio is your friend. Like, don't run from that. I see a lot of guys at the gym just, like, kind of work out. After workout, they just go. And then it's like their muscles are just, it's just not aesthetic. Like, I'm like, ugh. I just wish I could, like, train their body. You know what I mean? Like, but I, everybody trains how they like. But, yeah, make sure you're running. And uh, you could do at-home workouts too. You don't necessarily have to go to the gym all the time. I will have videos on that. You could do at-home workouts that literally burn fat and make sure you get muscles. You know what I'm saying? You get muscles and you get stronger, tighter muscles as well. So I will have a video on that for sure, for sure. Uh, but yeah, more than anything, just for losing weight, for cutting weight, you want to make sure you're running. You want to make sure you're doing cardio. And for me, if you, if I'm training you, we're running. You know what I'm saying? We're not walking. You can start walking when you're new. But after a few days, after a week, it's time to pick it up. It's time to run. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, don't don't hurt yourself, but also push yourself at the same time. But, yeah, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys liked the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more content. Turn on post notifications. Ask me your questions down in the comment box below. And I'll see you in my next video. I'm out. Fuck oh, yes.